Of all the times I've seen the thread up rescue boxes, I have never been able to get my hands on a coach one until now. That's what we got today. This is a thread up unboxing of coach purses. Let's see what we got in this box. It was a hundred dollar value for five purses. So let's see what the items are. And I have my handy dandy laptop over here because I am going to show you guys how to look up purses and be able to see what the value is online so that way you know how to list them when you put them in your stores. But hey, if this is the first time you are clicking on one of my videos, welcome. My name is Ashley Wheeler. I am a full-time reseller. Basically, all that means is I sell amazing goods online. I find different ways to purchase these items. So we'll do thread up, we'll do other consigners, we'll do different wholesalers, liquidators, pallets, thrift stores, all the beautiful things. That is what you're gonna see on this channel as well as tips and tricks on how to be successful selling items online. So if that is interesting to you, hit that subscribe button because I do post videos twice a week as well as some tips in our shorts which I really have been enjoying doing lately. Let's get into this video because I know that's what you guys are here for. As always they've got the cute polka dot colors. It's funny because the very first time I actually I think it was the first video I ever did on this channel was actually a thread up unboxing but it was not for reselling. Here is the invoice. It was actually for my own clothing for work. Ooh, oh, I like this color. This is gonna be a perfect spring color. So here we have the very typical coach style look with all the C's around. This is that, what is that called? The monogram style. Looking at the band really quick, it's actually in really great condition. Take a look. Not a whole lot of breakage there. Moment of truth, the bottom actually looks really good as well. So that is also a plus if that I saw mark. Not a, kind of a tiny one right here, but not really. This is a really good spring one. Oh, I love that it zips right here. I am not a fan. Comment down below if you are this way. I do not like the purses that just have like the button. I want it to zip. And I mean, there's there's room on the sides, like stuff could fall out, but I am not a fan of the button ones. Let me know, are you the same way? The interior actually looks really good and I really love this pink color. This has to be listed like ASAP because this is such a good spring color. So here is what we're gonna be looking for. Inside of every coach purse, you will see this. Hopefully you can see it right now. It's basically the certification of this purse. We're gonna go to our friendly Google and we are going to put in coach purse. I'm gonna put style and then I'm just gonna write what the serial number says right here. L oh eight four nine one three two eight zero. Let's see what we've got. I immediately will go to images because that's the easiest way for me to kind of look at what I'm seeing and immediately find it. So this is called the, well, someone has it as the classic signature and they just put the serial number in it. But I see it again here, West signature maybe? East West signature, that doesn't make any sense. So that one is a wah wah. I'm seeing it. So this tells me that it is available. Okay, so one of them sold for $15. So that's not a good sign. Uh, that one is brown though. It's not necessarily like the pink color that this one is. We failed. Going to that one. Okay, let's go in stock. Okay, this one is selling for $60 right now. It is still for sale. So that doesn't help. Oh, here we go. I think this is the name of the purse. That's what we're trying to look for. Numbers convert to a style name most of the time. So we're trying to find the style name because it makes it so much easier to search up an item. So coach, purse, and oh, I could have just kept it like that. So let's just do that. Okay, so one says 155. That's not the one that we have though. This is more similar. The Trade Z has it for $82 or $92. So there's some that are up that are definitely a lot higher. This is, so the same exact one sold. This one was brand new on Trade Z for $212. So do you think we can make our money back on this one? I'm kind of leaning towards yes, if you are willing to wait for the right buyer. The next one, Kind of goes a completely different color scheme or season, I should say, but I love this green. This is such a great emerald green, but my first things I notice is the metal right here. 
This is definitely a little bit worn and I'm pretty sure this is an all leather bag because there is some breakage here as well as just some normal wear. But unfortunately, that's going to really drop down the value of what this purse can be sold for. The inside, oh gosh, that is a beautiful blue. And the inside actually looks great. I don't know if you can see it inside of there. There's no like stains, there's no pen marks in there. None of that. I love this bag. This is more of like that shoulder hobo bag or crossbody. I love that it has the two options where you can hold it this way or put it across your body. Let's take a look at the bands really quick. Uh, they're a little bit of breakage, but not too much. They're still in pretty good condition. Overall, it's in decent shape, but especially because that is like the forefront and even yeah, the metal over here has definitely seen better days. So I don't know about this one. Let's see what we can find. Let's go to Coach Purse. Style is G0969. F. 14022. The other thing that's really good about looking up the style numbers in here is also to determine if it is actually an authentic item or not. Typically, people will try to mimic the serial numbers inside of a purse to make it appear that it is an authentic Coach purse. But Coach has been around for such a hot minute that this is a item that tends to get counterfeited pretty regularly. So this is another reason why I like to look this up because it helps me make sure that it is not an authentic item. Off the bat I see this one here it's not the color that we're looking for but it says unauthenticated oh it says unauthenticated so coach purse okay so I'm seeing some of them that are this way so that would tell me that it is potentially legit <laughs> we'll determine further here I'm gonna put in green just out of curiosity to see what comes up Mm, I think I'm playing too much with the style name. So let's remove that right now. Let's just try to find the name of this purse. Let's put a new window for this one. See if there's any others similar. Not seeing it. And there is a not a lot on this item. It says there's a site called One Bid. Oh, okay. That was the other picture that we've already seen. I am not finding a lot on this item and that slightly worries me. I'll definitely do some more research, but what do you guys think? Do you think I'll be able to flip this for more than $20? Let me know. Oh gosh, I hope that's not one of the items. That sucks. So the next item, I, I personally like it. I might keep it for myself, but is a wallet. I mean, I know the wallets are expensive. I've actually gone to a coach store and they are expensive. It looks in great condition. I just really wish I got a purse, not a wallet. I am not seeing any sort of like stamping of how to look this item up. One of the tips that I typically do too, if I can't find something by a style name, is I'll take a photo of the item and then I will go into Google Photos. I think it used to formally be called a Google Lens and you can upload a video, or not a video, a photo to that. And then it will take the photo and try to see in its photos database if there's anything similar to that. So that has been one way that that I've actually been able to find items in the past if I'm trying to look up solds in a store is take a photo of the item and then go to the Google lens and see if I can find the item on Google and then check comps that way. I'm not gonna look up this item right now. We're gonna move on to the next one. This kind of seems like an older style one as well, unfortunately, but it's a good canvas one. And at first glance, I'm not seeing like the, gosh, the metal looks in fantastic condition compared to that other one. And the bands also look in really good condition. Mild wear, kind of here, like just rubbing against something. Not seeing breakage in the leather though, which is handy. The interior is more of like a lavender color. It just looks kind of worn, honestly. Not like anything too big. But I did see the serial number back here. So let's look this one up. All right, so really quickly, I see this one right here. Looks like it says used for $60. Let's see, there's, yeah. So it's for sale on a marketplace plus $20 for shipping. Um, but that is still there. And other than that, unfortunately, again, 
there is not a another verse. I, I see this a related search, serial numbers, coach bag versus fake versus real. And that's kind of what I was talking about. There's definitely a lot of sources that will show you what is fake and what is real because this tends to be a very counterfeited purse. So I am getting a little worried, you guys. I hope that this box is going to be profitable, but we shall see. The last one that is in this box from what I already checked, is kind of more of a like mini tote. Again, the color is definitely an older style in my opinion. Um, the bottom looks good. The metal down there looks good. The front looks just slightly scratched. The leather up here doesn't really look broken. You can kind of see close detail. Surprisingly, the fabric on all this hasn't had like a lot of marks. I've been really, really surprised and happy about that. And interior wise, it actually looks really good. Oh, this one definitely has some just marks at the bottom, but otherwise it's in all right condition. So here, let's look this one up. I immediately see a teal or a blue one, I should say, that looks just like this. There's actually two of them, so that's nice. This says the Penelope signature. Okay, there's a lot of good keywords in this one. So I am going to highlight, I think the Penelope could possibly be the color, the blue color. So let's do this. We'll see. Um, no, actually, Penelope signature could be actual style name. Yeah, that could be the style name. Okay, so this looks really similar to it. Yeah, this is the one, yay. Oh, but it had a coach scarf on it. Probably someone just added that. So this one is for 115. It's not sold yet, but that one is there. And we also have this one that could possibly be the same. This one's for 99. We're getting somewhere on this one. This one says out of stock, it's the smaller version. This one sold for $63, so that's a good deal because this one is obviously larger. Uh, it doesn't look like that one was new. That is on Tradesy though, so that could just be the market for Tradesy. Have you guys ever listed anything on Tradesy? I would love to know, leave it in the comments below. I actually was just talking with a friend about Tradesy and the real real. So I'm curious, I wonder if Coach sells better over there. So reviewing everything just really, really quickly, I'm not seeing, okay, wait, this one sold. This one was new with tags and 129 is looks like what it sold for. So that is a win. I don't know, I, I'm kind of seeing a good ballpark on this one, but the biggest question of all is will I be able to double my money with this one? or potentially be able to sell that one to basically make up for the whole box. Leave it in the comments below. Do you guys think I will be able to make my money back on this box or do you think like this box was a wah wah? I'm kind of curious if you guys have also done any of the coach thread up boxes before. What has been your success with it? If you do like thread up unboxings, I do have more on my channel and I'm gonna put it in the cards right here as well as have it in the description below. You can take a look, maybe even binge some of those other contents. And I've even gotten the 200 pound box before. So that one was a definite series that you'll definitely want to check out if you do like to see thread up content. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.